this is Tookie Blue Eyes. Thanks for tuning in this evening. Uh, this evening's my first trip out this season. Um, I wanted to test out a few of the things that I had purchased for the camping season for my outings this spring, summer, and fall. One of them being a new hammock. Um, it's a, see if I can get here and show you. It's a little tight in here. It's a, still got the tag on it. Grand Trunk Ultralight Hammock that I set up here today to try out. And I completely spaced out the fly for it, buying the tarp for it. So what I did was, um, I sort of borrowed the rain fly from an old pop-up tent that I used for car camping as a impromptu way of having a rain fly because here in Colorado, you never know if it's going to rain. Here's my hammock, my Grand Trunk Ultralight Hammock covered by an impromptu um, tent fly for a rain fly in case it rains. I doubt it will, but like I said, this is Colorado. The weather changes on a dime. And uh, this is by Swiss Gear. It's an Iger tent. A friend of mine owned one, the earlier version of it, and he loved it. So when I went to go buy a new one, I wanted an inexpensive one because I didn't want to put a lot of money into a tent that I may not be using a lot. I may be using the hammock more than I use the tent. And I read mixed reviews on it. Um, the worst review I saw on it that was that people bought it for a Boy Scout trip, they got it out, and uh, it pretty much failed on them because it got wet inside. And to those people, all I have to say to you is, is you probably sent it out with your kids before treating it. You probably pulled it out of the box and sent it with them. You have to treat your tent. Um, this tent didn't come with a footprint, so I have kind of a tarp uh, underneath it to protect it from the ground, the sticks and whatnot. Um, this is the rain fly. Underneath it is just the mesh. And I treated it with seam sealer and uh, Nick Wax waterproofing before I brought it out here today. Um, so I'm going to be using both of these. This is an inexpensive tent. This cost me 40 bucks. And like I said, I didn't want to put a lot of money into a tent I wasn't sure I was going to use. So I'll be giving you an ongoing review of this tent as I use it. It's easy to set up. One pole. Rain fly is attached. Weighs 4.7 pounds on a pack. Uh, it has a vestibule with some um, mesh right here so in case it does rain and it gets wet inside here it'll drain out through here so I'm assuming your footprint is not supposed to come up past this point that's the drain point so my tarp pretty much ends here this is the inner door uh, a lot of room you could probably fit two people one in there um, my hammock's only a one hammock here's my Everest uh, sleeping bag. That's a warm money, mummy bag. I love it. I've had it for years and I refuse to give it up. I just bought this. This is a Coleman Max uh, self-inflating mattress. I grew up with Coleman. Coleman was a staple for all of our camping trips, so I went with Coleman again this well, year. I got my wood processed and I got enough to last me for a while. Um, pretty night out. Got a quarter moon, star shining by it. Everything's working out so good so far. Got a couple visitors at the campfire. Um, a couple of moths drawn to the flame, I guess. Um, I'll be doing a review on both the Grand Trunk Ultralight Hammock and the Swiss Gear Eiger Hiker Tent. Um, that'll be an ongoing thing throughout the summer. Try to take it out in the wind, the rain, let you know what I think about both of them. And uh, another new thing that I bought for this season was a new canteen cup. And uh, I had to put my headlight on so that you could see that, see? Um, and this one is a uh, coated stainless steel. It's not the aluminum ones like in the days of old. This is uh, steel and it's coated with something. I don't know. Um, 
Me and Kid got hungry, so we decided to cook us up some ramen. Well, it was a good night. Hammock worked out well. Um, Kid's happy. I'm happy. Fire is easy enough to get going again. Um, just had to uncover some of the hot coals that were at the bottom and throw some cottonwood um, bark in it. Blow on it a little bit and we'll have a fire for um, some oatmeal. Well, the wind did the job for us. So I'm going to get this fire stoked up and use my canteen cup to make a little bit of oatmeal for me and Kit. I already tore down the hammock and that took like a total of five minutes. I don't know if you can see that but we got some pelicans swimming in the lake this morning. Big white pelicans. I wanted to show you this Coleman Max self-inflating mattress. Worked out really well. Um, it's even got a pillow attached. And like I said, this worked out really well last night. I'm very happy with it. So just a real quick recap on that uh, canteen cup steel. It's uh, coated in some kind of something. Anyway, it worked real well. I made some tea. I made some oatmeal. made some ramen last night. Um, it worked out really well. I love it. Very happy with it. Um, have no complaints about it. That's definitely something everyone should have in their kit. A little update on the Iger tent. Uh, one thing I failed to mention before was that um, it has self-correcting zippers. Last night my favorite hatchet, the handle broke on it. This is a tomahawk and that broke off on it so looks like I'm going to have to get me a new handle for it. Other than that everything else worked out. Real easy setup, one pole, real easy takedown, aluminum stakes, self-correcting zipper, uh, weighs 4.7 pounds on a pack, um, and that's without the tar the footprint. Um, I have one here that I'm going to have to cut down to size, um, but other than that, that's a pretty good little tent for this first time out. One little piece of equipment that I didn't get to show you guys last night or this morning. Um, was my little pig sticker. Um, it was a gift from my father. 